Hi, I'm Gary Amoroso, Executive Director of the Minnesota Association of School Administrators. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. Let's start with an update today on what's going on at the legislature. The conference committee, which will determine what the K-12 omnibus bill looks like, will convene on Thursday of this week. Their job is to take the House and Senate bills that have been passed and to create one bill out of those two bills. That one bill will then go back to the House and the Senate to be passed and then sent on to the governor for his consideration. Keep in mind that the session by statute must end no later than Monday, May 20th. So there's quite a bit to be done over the course of the next week and a half. Attached to this Take 5 is a letter that we sent to the governor and members of the conference committee with our thoughts regarding some of the vital components that needed to be included in the bill. I'm sure there will be times over the course of the next week and a half where we will ask you to contact your legislators and share your thoughts regarding the key components of the omnibus bill. Hopefully as you have those conversations with your legislators, you will take into account the points that we have provided to you from MASA's perspective. The anti-bullying bill continues to wind its way through the legislature. One of the things that was added on the House floor recently was a provision that parents must be notified of any type of incident that qualifies under this new law. This will put additional time and energy from administration into this process. We are continuing to work with the authors to make sure that we have a process that truly helps provide our students with a safer environment in a way that can be implemented in an effective and efficient manner by our schools. The latest fiscal note on this bill is $19 million per year for implementation. It's important to note that the House does not provide any dollars for this implementation and the Senate has $1 million for a structure to be set up which would not put dollars to the schools. And so as we've been concerned with other unfunded mandates, this is a concern of ours and that concern is not to be mistaken with the fact that we fully endorse the concept and always have of children being safe and our adults being safe within their schools. I've been asked recently about statewide health insurance. That has really been on a sabbatical the last few weeks as each of the houses has worked on the various omnibus bills. There is still a possibility that the statewide health insurance issue could uh, come back yet this session or there's a possibility that it may not be dealt with this session and would be a topic for discussion during the 2014 legislative session. Not sure where this one's going, but we'll keep you informed as more information becomes available. I want to mention that within the next week or two, you're going to be receiving membership materials. We certainly hope that you seriously consider joining uh, MASA for the 2013-14 school year. We're very pleased to report that for the second year in a row, our board of directors has frozen the membership level, so you will not have to pay any additional dollars to be a member of MASA next year. We're also hoping that you take an opportunity to consider membership at AASA. AASA also has frozen their membership for uh, the 13-14 school year. I want you to consider asking various colleagues who are not currently members of MASA, who may be thinking about becoming superintendents or curriculum directors or special ed directors, to consider joining MASA. We have an MASA subscription membership. It's $58. It allows the individual to receive our mailings, our newsletters, our weekly email communications, which provide them information and access to professional development opportunities. So talk to various administrators, teachers within your districts, and encourage them to become a subscription member of MASA. Just want to mention that the MDE summer conference is coming. August 6th and 7th at the Minneapolis Marriott Northwest. We have nine Ed Talks, one talk from each of the regions, so we're going to hear from our colleagues around the state, and we know it's going to be an exciting event. Please feel free to contact me if I can be of service, 651-319-1211. Thank you.